Hi, Kenny. What are you doing? Hi, Kenny. What are you doing, Kenny? It's Adamani. We got lots of babies. We got 1.2 children, 1.2 billion children in the world. We're going to take them and teach them the gospel. We're going to take 1.2 billion children, teach them the gospel, and with God and Jesus. Okay, um, what's this? I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for, um, Okay. Okay. Uh, so I posted this one. Uh, children of God. Um, children of God will be at the top. Um, so, children of God will be at the top of Jesus as the head and cornerstone. He is the head and cornerstone. And you're going to school to become preachers, teachers, evangelists, apostles, prophets, priests, and rulers, servants of God. Okay. Um, this generation, uh, it's like the movie, um, Adam Sandler movie, Billy Madison. He had to go back to school. Didn't he have like some tutors or any movie, any movie who someone had the best tutors. Okay. The best of the best teachers. And to go back to school. That's what this, these children are going to have. These children here, God's children on earth, are going to, these children are going to school. And they're going to be with Jesus. They're going to fellowship with God. They're going to learn the truth about God. And they're going to be very, very successful beyond um, anybody older than them. Beyond anybody older, beyond their parents, the children of this generation will be better than their parents. Okay, uh, if their parents even make it to the heavens. Okay, um, if their parents even make it to the heavens, because if their parents are liars, deceivers, and witches, and they're blaspheming me and Jesus, oh, they're not going nowhere. But God bless the children. We're gonna take the children, and we're gonna make. They're going to get the best teachers. Me, Jesus, King David, King Solomon, um, the prophets, Enoch, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Elijah, Elisha, all the prophets, the councils, and the angels. Okay, And these children are going to be grown because they've been dumbed down by, by their people. These children have been dumbed down. They don't know God. This generation, they don't know God. All they know is black and white, false gods. That's an abomination. They're going to go, they need to go serve their God as God told Moses to go tell Pharaoh about the Hebrews in Egypt. That they need to go serve their God. And God's coming, God's, God is coming with plagues to take his kids. Okay. There were 10 plagues in Egypt. God is going to come with plagues in the earth. And he's taking his kids. The same thing's going to happen again, except he's taking his kids and then the plagues. In Egypt was the plagues, and then he took his to Hebrews. Okay, so you see, you see it's similar but different. Okay, so God is coming to take his kids, and we're not appointed to the wrath of God, so we're going to be safe. We're going to be passing judgment upon the wicked people who try to dumb us down to false Jesus, fake Jesus, false gods. And we're going to pass judgment upon the world. As even it says, the queen, Malka Yakima Darom, and Adam Darom, Adonai Dudanam, Malak Shalom Yeshua. And me and Kim, we're going to judge. The people of Nineveh are going to judge. Um, 
everybody, the whole kingdom is going to pass judgment upon the wickedness of these liars in the world. The whole kingdom, okay? As they like to say, as they like to say, everyone's against me and Jesus. The whole kingdom's against them. <laughs> the kingdom is one angel. One angel will slay a million people. The kingdom is way greater. The, these people act like, these people act like they're greater than God. And the kingdom, and they're gonna win. And they're gonna win against Jesus and God, and blah blah blah. That's that's fantasy. It's not the case. Okay. Um, so um, God's gonna take His children. They're gonna get the best teachers, and the grown those who are grown also are gonna go and basically be like me. In as far as knowledge okay so uh, it's time to go back to school for the grown-ups for all those in the world who are God's people who are grown and you're gonna go know your God you're gonna be scholared and schooled you need to become a servant of God you need to become a preacher you need to become a pastor um, you need to become a preacher you need to be able to work the Word of God you need to become able to teach it to people you need to be you need to be an evangelist a carrier of the gospel you need you need to become an apostle to grow to apostle people you need to be a prophet servant of God to carry out the word of God to the nations you need to be a priest a prayer a worshiper a priest in the house of God saying yes to the Lord and and serving the house of God and and then you can rule in greatness, okay? Then you can rule in greatness. But, so in other words, in other words, um, this generation has to go back to school, okay? And if they don't, let it, they don't let you do it here, then we're gonna do it over there. Okay, so um, these are the ranks. These are the ranks. These are the, you guys, this generation needs to graduate this. This generation needs to become uh, rightfully dividing the word of God and telling truth from lies this this generation needs to be able to preach and teach and evangelize apostle congregations you need to become a you need to be a come leaders you need to be a, a, a humble servant and a worshiper this all starts all this starts at the top the at the priesthood okay you as a priesthood he's going to equip you and make you a messenger okay so as a child of God you're going to the top with the headstone then he's gonna send you back to Yeshua Moshiach Pina Ben to the bottom meaning in in the kingdom you go to the top because he loves you okay this generation is the best generation you go to the top Jesus is at the top he sends you to the bottom Jesus is at the bottom he's gonna show you what to do He's going to give you uh, words because you're going to be a priest in the presence of God. <sighs> Shh. Okay, so you're going to be a priest in the presence of God in Jesus. Then he's going to make you a prophet messenger. He's going to make you a, a prophet messenger. And you're going to go, you're going to go teach words to wherever he sends you guys. Okay, so you're gonna grow, 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 and the more, the more cities, the more cities that you go and take the word, okay, then then they're gonna listen to you. Then you're gonna be growing great in different areas. Okay, so um, this generation, in other words, this generation was you were cheated, just like I was cheated. Okay, I don't want to get into mine, but. You, you guys were cheated too okay this generation was I was cheated for my for my kingdom I'm gonna go on into kingdom forever as the prophecy says my seed and my thrones will be forever I don't want to talk about that right now this generation was cheated out of its relationship with Jesus Christ you were cheated they stole it from you so we got it back and you gotta go and start from scratch you're gonna go start from scratch you're gonna go and start your ministry 
This this is a generation of ministers. He says in Joel chapter 2, He pours out His Spirit upon all flesh. He pours out His Spirit upon all flesh. And so the sons and daughters could prophesy and and men could dream dreams. And okay, so there's a, there's a prophetic spirit that is for this generation. And the and those anti those anti God will not stop it. Okay. It's gonna it's going to come to pass. Uh, how do I know? Joel two, read the whole chapter. Oh. In Joel two it says They're going to rush through the cities and run on the walls. Great is the army that carries out his word. So, uh, the rapture. The rapture. So Joel 2 talks about a pouring out of the Spirit. I don't want to go there. Okay, let's go there. So the, the good thing is uh, I preach and prophesy Preach and prophesy in order, and thankfully, God's word is in order. Or it's not far, it's not far away. Uh, it's always in order. And the trumpet will be blown and sealed, the alarm will be sounded on God's holy mountain. The inhabitants in the earth and the land will tremble because the day of the Lord has come. It is before us at hand. And okay, there's a day of darkness, gloominess. These are days during darkness and gloominess where they're dumbing down people. Quiet. And they're dumbing down people. Ah, 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 ah. Witches sit on the couch. They're dumbing down people with witchcraft. Dumb witches on the couch, right? They're dumbing, they're trying to dumb us down. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. This is dumb, dumb old witches. Okay. It's their fault. All these haters. These are the days exactly at the right time. Exactly, the demon Satan speaks. These are days of darkness and gloominess, of mockery, of twisting the word of God with letters. When darak means to walk and to trample and to tread over the snake and scorpions, and derek means to be in the way, and derek means to be on a mission. We are on a mission. Derek darka Yeshua Hamashiach Nes Melech Yehovah Sikanu Adam Duran of daytime a day. Ah, darak, darka, Yahweh Yeshua, la nes, Yahweh sikeno. Okay, gala, ami nes. You like that? Okay, I got it. Adam the of daytime. He comes in the way of Jesus Christ with the banner of the King and authority, and he takes his people with revelations. My people, gala ami, la nes again, because he's the King with the banner. Okay. A day, I don't know if they up the nose and nostrils of God who breathes life. Call Ud, call Ud, call Ud. He he takes all the witnesses of God. He is the witness to everyone. Okay. And Atika, Ad Atika to your eternal fortresses. Darka Yeshua Hamashiach Lanes. Yehovah seeking them. I'm king in the way of God. I'm taking them because. They do darkness, gloominess over your minds. Okay, they're ha 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 mockers and witches, dumbing the children down. They're not gonna dumb me down. I'm way too good. I'm way too advanced in the spirit of God. They can never dumb me down. Mm mm. I'll prophesy every day. Okay, 
these in these days Adam did on with the congregation okay and all the congregation of God are witnesses of what God is saying and doing Adam did on of daytime in the way of Yeshua we are all together Galaam we are all together in the revelations of God together the churches are mentioned seven the ch churches mentioned in Revelation that's us we're the seven churches and seven lands of Revelation the seven lamps the menorahs mentioned in Revelation we're the seven lamps we're the seven churches Shema Yeshua ignite us okay he's our banner he, he who hung on the cross he's our banner okay Yeshua Mashiach on the cross from yesterday okay. he's our banner we look to him because these are days of darkness they dumbing down the people and now they're trying to dumb me down ha 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 and mockery witchcraft not gonna happen in these days of darkness of the mockery of the witches and voodoo trying to dumb down everybody especially the children to hate us and God not gonna work I already marked them the angels marked them we're taking <whistles> God bless you Ice Spice uh, love you and um Magaselion, Doja, Hari Hana, Gande, Hip Hop R&B. Uh, these are days of darkness and gloominess where they're trying to dumb us down and brainwash us. You know the gloominess, the dementia, the gloominess, the witchcraft over your mind, where you just can't think for yourself. You know where you got a witch. You know you got a witch above you. You got a witch in the next room mocking you. You got a witch right next to you. You got a false god in your eyes. You got a false god in your ears. You got sirens and horns. You got neighbors stalking you. You got people condemning you. And you know what? That's called gloominess and darkness of the beast of Satan to take over your soul. It's not going to work. It doesn't work. Okay. That's a, that's a fleshly thing. You will be set free from that as soon as God comes. As soon as God comes... As soon as God comes, you'll be free from that. Okay. Uh, but uh, is this recording? Two, two, two. Jo two two. Yosef, yeah. Joel 2 2, it says. Am, Ami, my people, what I just said. Gala Ami, my people of the mountains of God, you shall go over the mountains because his people are coming for us over the mountains. God and his armies coming to get us. They're coming over the mountains of the north, right here, the foothills, San Gabriel Mountains, Geburael. And Geburael Mountains, the foothills, they're coming over the mountains. The people of God are coming for us. Mighty strong bones of the body of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. They're coming for my body. He's coming for his body of Christ Jesus. Atsem Bashad Yeshua HaMoshiach. Ami. Uh, army Adon, Adonai Sebaot is coming Yehovah Yeshua Aruch HaKodesh Elohinu He's coming Yehovah Bisafon Ananesh Kadosa Ara In Allah HaHarim The foothills In Akeb Yehovah Akeb Yeshua HaMoshiach Akeb Giba Allah Akeb Giba HaHar Geburael A mighty man is coming a mighty warrior is coming and armies are coming for people the armies of and armies of people is coming for his armies of people uh, two armies he says uh, the armies of people of angels and people in heaven they're coming for us the armies resurrected bones Ezekiel 37 the army's coming to save this army we, he calls us army and my people we are great and strong. They are great and strong, able to um, take us. 
uh, something that something never before there's there's no other like these of whom there's none like these ever having been from the heavens of eternity and after them there's nobody greater than them okay Adam Duran Yosef Shana Doro Dod and we go into eternity where we belong forever and ever and ever I add I add I don't subtract he says Ad Ad Yosef Shana Doro Dod I add my generations I don't subtract he says I add my gen I add my people on me Adam Adam Duran Adam and Doro Duran Yosef Shana Doro Dod I add my people I don't subtract them no one takes them from me I add my people I'm coming to add more to my people that's what he says I add my people I do not subtract he says that pause it I gotta post it so we're talking about growing we're talking about prophe and prophesying and um and we're talking about in Joel 2, it mentions the pouring out of the Spirit, so that's how we got here. So when we come here, we get to Joel 2-2, um, okay, 2-1 uh, even, blowing the shofar for Sion, and he's, he's going to the children of heaven and everyone in heaven, and they will blow the shofar in Sion, and they will come for their other children. And the alarms will be sounded in the holy mountain of God in the heaven in the kingdom and the inhabitants of the land is coming for daytime. They're coming for day those of the day, they're coming for us who are snatched. Okay. And it is at hand. It's coming. He's coming for daytime and our people. And he's gonna, and it's going to be uh, plagues against the wickedness of the darkness, of the nighttime gloominess of those who want to dumb us down into lies. They will be stuck here until they repent, if possible. And let me read it. I guess Taka Shofar Bishion and Hariu and Rua and Bihar Karashi Yidgezu. Call Yoshebe Haaretz Ki Ba Yom Yehova Ki Karo. Min Olam Yom Choshek Apela Yom Anan Arapel Ki Shachad Parut Al Cheharim Am Ami Rabbi Ami Rab Ewe Atzam Kimuhu Lo Lo Haya Min Lo niye haya min olam achara lo Yosef ad shana dor wa dor. Okay, so he's coming and to add to himself. He's coming for his people of this generation, as it says. He says, uh, so as you can see, as you can see. He says these are mighty bones, okay? The atzam in the bones of the valley. He says again, these are mighty bones. This is my great army, Chayli Gadol. It's in Joel 2, too. And it's in uh, somewhere around Ezekiel uh, 37, 10 or 9. My army. He calls it a great army. Uh, 25 and uh, when he says he's going to restore when he says he's going to restore Malek Shalom, Lakim, and Shana, and another life, he's going to restore it. 
Um, and he's gonna restore them whenever, into wherever, whenever, wherever, whatever, whatever. He's gonna restore them, and that which, in the place he has for him. And he's gonna restore him. Who he's gonna restore him, and her, in the place he has for them, and wherever and whoever he wants to into AD eternity indeclinable it's indeclinable that's a good word pause it baby okay indeclinable where did we get that oh I said um so Ami Helika Do and my army is great I said Shalakti Bikim and my army is great, which I send to you. And he says, you guys are great. How do we know? Okay, how do we... How, how do I know there's a two-way going on here, like what I'm prophesying? Because Ezekiel 37, as you know, there's a great army of bones recovered, regenerated. So, a regeneration is door to gener a generation. Okay. So, as you can look at all the look at all the spirits going on from Ezekiel thirty-seven one to ten. Naba, ruach naba, ruach sawa. There's a spirit of prophecy. There's a spirit of commander. There's a ruach hakodesh. Be came by him going to them. Spirit ruach haya, spirit of life. Ruach amad, a spirit that makes you stand and take the stand. An erection to heaven. And ruach ragal. There's a spirit upon the spy who walks, and he who makes you walk, he'll make you march into the heavens. In Heli Gadol, there's the great army of mine. Me'ad, Me'ad, in M-A-D, M-A-D. I'm going to say that's Malek Adam Duran with the horns of salvation, who's the door for the door, and a humble servant hunched over, planting seed for Ben Adam Yeshua. Okay, planting seed and watering seed daily. Okay, it's very important. There's nothing else I'd rather do, and there's nothing else to do. Let me be honest. Th there's nothing else I'd rather do than than speak life into the world every single day. And honestly, there's nothing else to do. There's nothing to do. There's nothing for me to do. There's no. There's nothing on TV. There's. Uh, I like I have some favorite movies time travel movies there's some good movies but I can't I can honestly I can't sit and watch two hours or an hour movie because I get antsy I guess I start thinking about the Bible I start I start going into the Bible and I go get a word and um that's the Ruach the Ruach Arago the, the spirit that makes you go the spirit that the spirit that makes you go takes you know okay so Ezekiel 37 10 he's coming for Malek Adam Duran Malek Adam Malka Adam Duran Malek Adam Malka Adamas he's coming for our armies that's oh that's king and queen Melek Adam Dunan and Malkas Adama Chawachayas. He's coming for us, King and Queens, and for our great army of bones. Okay. Ben Adam, Hinabe, Adonai, Uroha Badesh owns the bones. Okay. Um, he, he breathes in the Puach Ruach HaKodesh, Chaya. He breathes the Holy Spirit life into them. And Bashad, he, he brings them flesh for their flesh. And the flesh of Jesus is your flesh. This is how you live again. And the preacher, Me Bashad, told Shalom Yeshua Bashad, Bashad Yeshua Hamashiach Lechem Chaim. In Bashad Bashad, Atsam 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 Mecca. The good news, the body of Christ is your body. That's how you live again. He says. That you live, you you're in Jesus. You live, you live in Jesus. Okay, that's how you live again. It's the body of Christ. 
and the good and by preaching it. And the word of the spirit of the word brings the body of Christ into your <gasps> into your soul from above. And mil mil ma Allah, Jesus is above, so that's why it says mil mil ma Allah from above. He covers you in flesh. You're covered in flesh. Your new wineskins, I'm filling you with the ruach of everything. You have much wine. He, you're getting, you're receiving much wine, he says. This generation is receiving much, much wine. Ayin. Rabim Ayin. Rabim Yayin Hadasha. Amin Bashar Yeshua HaMashiach. And by the good news preaching of his body, his blood, and his waters, and Atim Atan. Atim Atan Atan Atim Yayin Chadasha Yayin Rabim Chadasha Bim Bashar Yeshua Hamashiach in Chaya Damo. And you're receiving much wine of many kinds. He's pouring into you. God is pouring you into you and receive it. God is pouring new wine. God is pouring new wine into you of much. It's basically, he's talking about the fruit of the Spirit. He's talking about the words, the promises. He's talking about the words and the promises. And, um... The words and the promises and the fruit of the spirit, everything that fills you from the word, is new wine. You receive and you receive flesh from his flesh, from above. Okay, and we already we're going backwards, so you already got the spirit. Okay. Um. Okay, let's stop right there. I'm going back to Joel. Um, two, um, one. Uh, so the alarm, the alarm will be sounded, and on God's holy mountain in the kingdom, let all the inhabitants tremble. Okay, in the earth, and He's coming for the great army of daytime. He's coming for this great army of bones. Okay, he's coming for this great army. Okay. Because those who like nighttime darkness, uh, they are covering over daytime. They cover over me, and they block and they dumb people down. And so that's the gloominess. But we already prophesied, right? I already prophesied. Uh, the letters. Uh, Adam of date. Adam daytime off. P. Darka Yeshua Lanes Melaki Hosik Nu Ad Gala Ami Nes Adam Duran Daytime Yum Yum Af Kal Ad Se Adi Ad Se Ad Atika Dar Direct Darke Kal Lanes. You're gonna go fly banners and you're gonna go fly banners too. So, uh, this is New King James. This is good. So, um, it's, I'm, I'm doing it because they mocked me and they mock they don't mock me they mock God's word so um, the day and day as you know is sufficiency sufficiency points us to Paul the Apostle who smelted in 2nd Corinthians 12 he gets sufficient power for the people and there are you guys are already resurrected bones waiting for God to come so uh, we're going in the way of salvation and when he comes with a banner we and he's gonna come with us who have the banner, the king and queens, me'ad me'ad, and our great army of resurrected bones with the body of Christ, and through the preaching, the good news, and a people great and strong. And the Adam Duran Joseph generation is a great people, great and strong. Yeah. 
Mighty Bones. The Adam Duran Yosef Generation Mighty Bones. I add, I do not subtract. Okay. There was none like these people. There was no believers. There's no one like these people. There's no one in heaven as the believers of this generation, and even those who died, even those in the last, uh, even those in the last uh, hundred years, who had faith in God and prophecy. Um, there is no generation like this generation. There's no other. And because because of faith and because of overcoming because because of faith and because of overcoming Satan and the beast and because you came because you because you seen death you were you were dry dead bones in the valley you saw death yourself you're a witness and God says you saw death yourself Okay. And as the dry dead bones in the valley, you saw death yourself and now you're a witness of life. Oh, wow. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go. Pause it. And the, the dead dry bones in the valley, you have seen death yourselves and now you see the life of heaven. Now you see the everlasting life of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the heavens. Hallelujah. And I just posted it. And you, this generation, saw death yourselves, and now you see the everlasting life of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the heavens. You see? God speaks. And you, this generation, have seen death yourselves, and now... You see your everlasting life of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the heavens given to you by the real one, not no fakers. See? Well, this is what God does for you. Okay, so you, you as Isaiah 52 says, you went down into the, the beast of bondage and slavery. You went down into the beast of bondage and slavery because you had to live and make a living. You had to survive. Right? Right. God knows that. And they oppressed you. They try to suck your soul out of you. They try to curse you. They try to they try to curse Mayanash, Alpedica, Yehuda, red hair. They curse Harmenia. They curse Harmenia. They curse themselves. They curse me. Adam Duran, they're cough, coughing in my face. They curse their own kids. They curse their grandkids. They're cursing everybody. Of course, if they curse, if they get these old ladies, if they get these old ladies and old men to curse us, if they can get mom and dad to curse their own babies, if the synagogue of Satan, the police department, can get your own mom and dad to curse their own kids and curse and cough in their face and their own grandkids, if they can get parents to curse their babies, then of course they can get, they can get the whole world to curse each other. Matthew 24, we just read that. Nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom because they like that that's the beast activity uh when they were growing up some people promoted violence against okay uh, as being a mexican american they promoted violence and probably also over there too they said uh you hear negative things about um uh, brothers and sisters of el salvador from el salvador they say negative things about them and they say Supposedly they don't like Mexicans. Then they say, "Oh, there's other people they don't like Mexicans. They're from Armenia." They said. Then they say, uh, uh, "In jail, you can't eat with black people. You gotta stay with Mexicans." And so they, the system of the beast starts telling people this stuff. And the real reality is, when you go to church, 
there's Armenians, there's Armenian Christians, there's African Americans, there's Mexicans, there's El Salvador Spanish churches. <laughs> when you go to church, everyone's at church. Good Lord, it's a lie. Racism is a lie. Even white people, look at the black Hebrew Israelites, liars. The black Hebrew, the fake Hebrew Israelites, the fake Hebrew Israelites, racist against white people. Armenia's white, Judah's white, red-haired Judah's white, even uh, Mex in Mexico, red-haired Judah's white, like Canelo, people like that, white, though they speak Spanish, doesn't matter, they're white, red-haired Judah, doesn't matter, they're white, red-haired Judah, they're talking about white, okay, they're talking about colors of skin, if you're talking about Italy, that's white, but that's Levites, Okay, you're talking about Greece, that's white, that's Levites again. You're talking about Spain, that's white, that's Levites again. Okay, so, um, um, and Armenia is white, and that's, that's ancient seed of Noach. Okay, so, um, anyway, I don't want to get into that. So, uh, the blessings everywhere, and don't fall for the division. And they curse everybody. The, the synagogue of Satan is to devour the people at any cost. When you got religion, you have denomination. And you got, you got, listen, God told me to unite the people not in compromise as the beast does. As the beast of Babylon gathers the churches, they gather the religions to their false gods. I gather them into the covenant of Jesus Christ. It's not the same. Okay, so when they when they gather all the people to the false gods, uh, in Buddha, they got the leader of Buddhas, they got the leader of Hindu, they got the leader of Muslim, they got the leader of the Orthodox, or Greek, or or Armenian, or they got the the Catholic Church, they got the Christians, they got Mormon Jehovah's Witnesses, they got all these people gathered in the Mor into Babylon, and the Empire of the Beast, that is abomination. But I take the people over here in the real Jesus, in the body of Christ. Blessed, 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 blood of Jesus, the waters, the body, okay, by the good news. And by the power of the Holy Spirit invested in me and the authority. Authority to trample Satan's head. Authority to trample the serpent. Authority to tread over scorpions that stung them. I trample over the snakes who bit them. I crush the head of Satan and cut off the claws. No power, no authority over the people of this generation because I have the power and authority and anointing to do that. I'm here to do that. I'm here to do that. There's nothing I'd rather do and no, there's no other, nothing I'd rather watch on TV. You see? I'm anointed to, uh, I'm anointed, the only reason, the, my only purpose in life at this, in these days, is to, was to slay the beast and cut the claws of Satan off his people. And then, after I do that, comfort them, feed them, give them words of life, tell them who you are in Christ Jesus, shout out to, um, shout out to, uh, was that Neil T. Anderson, who we are in Christ Jesus, or who am I in Christ uh, this book that I, I read like a page of it I read like a I got a couple pages out of it and uh, it's very important it's a very important idea it's very important to know who we are in Christ Jesus okay so you want to know who you are now you know you're a great army of dead dry bones you saw death yourself and now you see the everlasting life of the real Jesus Christ of Nazareth who laid down on the cross for you I'm getting goosebumps. I'm getting chills. You see, now you see the everlasting life of the real Jesus Christ who came down from heaven, who served God f for you, with you, for his people and his brothers. And he lays down on the tree. He lays down on the cross. And he stretches his arms out. And he just lets them nail him when he could have conquered the whole world of sinners. What the heck? He could have he he conquered the whole world like in the days of Noah. Jesus Christ could have called on angels and armies. He could have he could have conquered the whole world, but he laid down and stretched his arms out and his feet together, and he let them put nails through to crush the powers of evil from your hands. See the nails 
crush the power, the nails crush the power from your hands. Your hands are holy. Now your hands are holy hands. Now you can lift your hands to heaven. And now God will hear your praise. And now God will hear your praise. Because your hands are clean. Okay, that's what we're doing. And now your hands are clean by the nails in his hands. In, the, in this covenant. Okay. You can lift up holy hands to heaven. You could praise Jesus anytime you want. He'll hear you. You could say, thank you, Jesus, for my wife, for my, for my sons and daughters. Thank you, Jesus, for my job. Thank you, Jesus, for this day of work. It was a hot day, but I stayed hydrated. I kept drinking ice water. I kept drinking ice cold drinks. And you made it home to dinner. You could say, thank you, Lord. I made it home to my family. Everything. This is how it goes when you're in relationship with God. And every part of your day, you thank Jesus. Every part of your day, you thank Him. When you get when you're going to work, okay, you thank Him for your job. When you're coming home to your family, you thank Him for your family. When you lay down in your bed, you thank God for your bed. Okay, this is this is this is how we stay in worship. Okay. And uh, God will hear your thankfulness because you're, now your hands are clean. He crushed the iniquities. He crushed the powers of sin and death, of working evil, right? Okay. It's crushed. There's no more, God says. I crushed it with the nails. The nails in my hands crush that of yours. I don't want to say it. The nails in my hand crushed sin and death. I freed you from the bondage. I freed you from the bondage of chains of con condemnation. I set you free from the chains of, of condemnation, karma. I set you free from karma, condemnation forever. You're free. Don't, you're free. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Jesus, Jesus says you're free. There's no such thing as karma over here on this side. There's no karma on this side. There's no condemnation on this side. I crush your sins and iniquities myself. The nails. I let I let them put the, when I let them when I let them crush it. When I let them crush it, I crushed it. And my feet, when you ran to do evil, I crushed it. You ran, you ran to, you ran to evil, I crushed it. So freedom, that means it's freedom. By the, praise God, by the nails, by the nails in the hands of Jesus, now he crushes your sins and iniquities, your hands are clean. And he'll hear your praise when you want to praise him and thank him. And by the nails in his feet, he crushes the the evil work you ran you ran or temptation or anything you ran to do that was evil, any wickedness you ran to it, he crushed it. By the nails of his hands and his feet, it's crushed. Okay. Okay. So that's the so that's his ways in in Shochan in Pana Shochan. In Dabar Ra'a mean Oyebim Elohim Aleinu in Krash 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 in Krash 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 in Krash Harash Shemeka Harash be Adama Hadasha in Shemeka Harash be Seper Haya Ani Karash Ani Ani Shadad Ani Karash Ani Pulverized Ani Ani Dakak in Dakak in Shadad in Dakak in Shadad Ko Awanoteka Hatateka be Yadai with the nails. Okay. And so this is what this is a reminder of why he did what he did. Okay. So he he crushed it. He crushed your iniquities, 
of your hands in his hands. He crushed the evil you ran to do in his feet. He crushed it. It's done. Okay. This is my great army. And this is the life. Okay, so let me just take you down the picture. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. I'm on the wrong device. Ay, ay, ay. I was on the wrong device. What the heck? Okay, so let me take you to the picture. Okay, so... Um, I don't, I don't necessarily, I mean, that's right, but I'm looking for more blood, but there's blood on this one. Okay, so, uh, wherever they, wherever the nails went in, okay, probably the heels or something, or it could be like that. Okay, um, that's an interesting topic, you guys should check that out. There's some good videos on, um the nails in the hands were nails in the wrist versus nails in the hands uh nails going by the heels versus through the feet okay as to hold the body as to hold the body between the bones and to cause more pain through the nerves um but nevertheless that's not the point right now we're not talking about that we're right now we're just talking about why he did it i crushed all your sins he said, I crushed all your sins and iniquities with the nails in my hands. And I crushed every evil you ran to by the nails in my feet and for my people. Okay. And so we are, uh, you guys are an army of, you guys are an army of flesh and we're bones. You have seen death. Oh, that's the other one. And you, this generation, saw death yourselves, and now you see the everlasting life of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in the heavens. Okay, so you see the difference. This is this is a big difference. Okay, so, like, okay, I'm doing these videos every day. All I get is snorting noise, snorting pig noises, from wherever it's coming from, coughing, coughing, snorting pig, blowing the nose voodoo, slamming trash cans, all I get is a whole bunch of interruptions most times of uh, weird people, okay, me, what do I, what do I give, I give this, good news, all I get is crushing water bottles, crushing this, crushing, now here's what, here's what the crushing really is, crushing of the sins and iniquities of the people, you want to know what the crushing is? The crushing is crushing the sins and iniquities of the people in the hands of Jesus and crushing every evil they ran to by the nails in his feet and writing the names of them in the book of life so they can enter and be appointed. Okay. So this is the harashin we're doing. I'm doing harashin Adama Khadasha. I'm doing harash Bisat Per Chaya. Okay. We're writing your names in new lands and writing your names in the book of life while they're doing or they're doing um, or they're doing you know what Satanists do the Antichrist does why? I don't know I don't do it I don't know I don't know why they do it I guess that's their covenant that's their their oath their covenant is to their covenant I guess they're in some satanic covenant people some people are some, some people are probably in a satanic covenant where they have to tear down the Christian. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they earn some kind of favor in their group of people to <clears throat> to where uh they earn some kind of favor <clears throat> they get some kind of favor and grace amongst the satanic community and as to do destruction to the church right they, they do their satanic deeds as I guess right as as you would hear in the old days 
to do a good deed every day, do a good deed for someone every day or something. A Satanist do like a bad deed. Like they're backwards. Like, you know what I'm saying? Normally it's like do a good deed, but they do like a bad deed. Like throw voodoo in your kid's face, slap them, and tell them you're a piece of sh crap. That's their satanic covenant. Slap your slap your kid with voodoo in your hand and get them all riled up. Or go slander go slander your kids to throughout the whole town. Or just some weird stuff. That's the, as to destroy their own household. You know what I'm saying? Uh, me, I could never do that. I could never I could never betray my daughter. Or I could never do that to anybody, really. I'm not, I can never slap people with voodoo and hide behind the hide behind the satanic police department and I can never go slap people with voodoo, start trouble and go run and hide behind the satanic police department and then when someone hits me or kicks me or punch me and then go drag them to court and jail. You know what I'm saying? I can't do that. I can't. I can't voodoo people and and do things to them. And then cause them to do something, and then run to, run to the satanic police department, and say, "Oh, they touched me." You know what I'm saying? And do that to, and then do that to anybody, or family members. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't do that to people or family members, let alone my own kids or anybody. Okay, so, um, that's what they do that's what they preach that's what they teach and that's why we have to go okay uh, so that takes us to back to Joel and back to Joel so let's read through Joel okay uh, we're in Joel 2:25 or Joel 2:20 um, the pouring out of the spirit and he says he's going to pour out his spirit and it shall come to pass afterward I will pour out my spirit upon all the flesh and those who heard the word of God, right? Okay. This is okay. quiet. Wicked evil. He he says I'm gonna pour out I'm gonna shafak Haya Ahare Ken Ishpok Shafak Ruhi Karashi Abash Kalbashad. Okay. Through prophetic words to your sons. Hayahar Kain Eshpok Eshafak Ruhi Karashi Kalbashad E Nibeu Naba Benekim Benotikim. Okay. Zikne Kim Khalam E Yahalomu E Yahalam M. I'm going to pour out my spirit. So he's pouring out. So you know he poured out water. He poured out the blood. Jesus, Jesus is the kind of person that knows how to pour. And he made the water into wine. They served it. Jesus poured out water and blood from his side. Uh, God is the one, Jesus God, he's the one who demanded the sprinkling of the blood and waters and the pouring at the base. And he's the one who knows, God knows how to pour. So what does he say? In the latter days, I'm going to pour out my spirit through the, through the preaching of the word of my flesh and prophetic words to your sons and daughters. And they shall prophesy and they'll be able to dream dreams. Well, they're supposed to be and they will... This is where we're taken to the kingdom. Uh, so just as my honeymoon will be restored in Joel 2.25, he's talking, now this goes to you guys. Shalom ti lakem hashanim bashamayim asher kol ha'arbe yalek hayalek weche hasil hagazam heli gado asher shalakti bikem so now God is telling you guys the same word. I'm going to restore you guys to where you should be. Prophets. This is what I've been prophesying today. Uh, while I was doing my warm-up exercises. I'm going to restore you, this generation, to in the heavens of that, okay, to what you should be. 
you. I'm going to make you who you should be. I'm not going to allow this generation to get wasted and taken away from me. This is my Joseph generation, Joel 2 2. Adam Yosef Dorodon generation. I'm taking it. Adam Ben Adam Darum Hatef Nabi Lakak Yahuda Yosef. Aperima Ferika Harminia in Araba Ishmael. I'm taking this generation. I'm going to restore it to where it should be. Prophets, preachers, dreamers, visionaries. You're not going to sleep and dream, but you're going to be visionaries, in other words. I'm going to take this generation, okay? God is, God is going to take this generation, and he's going to make it to where it should be. I'm going to restore it. Okay, in the second heaven, in the second life of the heavens. I want to take you into your second life of the heavens. Restore you because the locusts of the beast have devoured it. They dumbed it down. But my army is great. I'm sending you my great army for my great army of bones with the skin and flesh of the flesh. And my mighty bones resurrected in the valley, by the valley. All my valley bones resurrected. I'm coming for you. Okay. The preacher Bashad Mebashet Tov Shalom Yeshua Adam Dunan, and he made you ready. He prophesied to you, and I'm going. And now I'm telling you this: I'm sending my army to save my army of bones. I'm sending my army to save my army of bones. I'm going to restore this generation to where it should be. Prophets, visionaries. Okay, messengers for for men for men servants. Wegam al abedim, e wegal abedim, e shepachot biyamin, e hechema eshpok ruhi karashi. And my men servants will be servants, and my maid servants will be servants in the days and even for me and I will pour out my spirit in them okay so we're going uh, we're gonna go do baptism okay so we're gonna go do special baptisms in the rivers and in the pools you guys ready forever too this is a, this is not a one-time thing this is going to be a forever ritual okay this is a forever ritual uh, Joel 2 29 28 God is going to restore this generation so uh, let me go get that real quick <laughs>